Welcome to our 23rd vlog with Floor Cover Technologies. I'm Emily. And I'm David. Have you ever shopped for carpeting and found that you became confused with all the different styles and carpet fibers to choose from? Well, stay tuned and we'll help you understand the fiber with two names. This week is part three of our series on carpet fibers. So today we will discuss olefin, or polypropylene. Which is it? Why are there two names? Olefin is the gener generic name for polypropylene, a synthetic fiber used to make many different products, including carpet. In the carpet industry, the terms olefin and polypropylene are typically used interchangeably, as they both mean the same thing. You may hear the fiber referred to by either name. Olefin fiber is not as resilient as other fibers, meaning it doesn't have the same ability to bounce back after being compressed by foot traffic. Because of this, it's typically used in loop-style carpets, such as burrs. Olefin is a highly stain-resistant, but unfortunately is not soil-resistant. Olefin is hydrophobic, meaning it doesn't ab absorb liquid. Due to this, olefin may be solution-dyed, the color is added into the fiber during production, instead of dyeing the fiber after it's made. Because solution-dyed fibers have no open dye sites, since they are technically not dyed, there's nowhere for stains to attach themselves to, so the fibers are highly resistant to staining. In fact, even bleach would not affect the color of the fiber. However, olefin is also oleophilic, meaning it attracts oils. In fact, polypropylene is often used to help clean up spills in lakes and oceans by skimming a polypropylene net across the surface of the water to soak up the, so the oil. Unfortunately, olefin's weakness for oils means that oil-based spill or residue will not be easily cleaned from the carpet's fibers. Because of this, olefin is not recommended in areas susceptible to spills of oily substances, such as kitchens or dining rooms. So basically, olefin is probably the least resilient fiber made today. Therefore, it is typically used in loop pile carpets. It is an affinity for oil, but it has great stain resistance. We hope this information has been helpful to you when it comes time for you to buy a new carpet, but if you're still unsure, my dad will be glad to help. Did you know, kitchen tools frequently have hidden uses. Take for example the spag spaghetti spoon that we told you about a couple of weeks ago, whose hole in the center can be used for measuring out one serving size of dry pasta noodles. As it turns out, the hole in your pan or pot handle can be just as helpful. And no, it's not just for hanging your pots and pans on the wall. The hole can be used to hold a sauce covered spoon you're using. Instead of dirtying another plate or dripping onto the counter, the spoon will just drip right back into whatever you're making. Simply put the end of your utensil into the hole, and it will be propped over the pot or pan. This will also help avoid leaving your plastic utensils in your pot or propping them to the side of your pan, causing them to partially melt and fill your kitchen with an unpleasant burnt smell. And now for the quote of the week. You ever meet someone and it feels like it just seems to cl click instantly? You like the same things, share the same opinions, it seems like you've known them all your life. It could be fate. Or it could be that you have a listening device planted under the dashboard of your car. Michael Weston from Burn Notice. Our services include carpet, upholstery, area rugs, tile and grout cleaning, as well as consulting on carpet related issues. It's how cleaning is done. It's how cleaning is done. Bye!